Yo, so I am quitting alcohol, um, and I thought that I would have my last drink with you guys, because why not? Um, now, I do want to just say off the top, I'm not like an alcoholic or anything like that. I just like would, I would say... I actually have a I actually have a um alcohol tracker so I can put it here for you. This is all the alcohol I drink all year. Um so not that many. I, I kind of drink seems like once, maybe twice a week. Um and if when I do drink it's most likely like a cider or like champagne or um I guess a cocktail sometimes. So I don't drink all crazy, but me and my girl are going to be quitting together just for the fuck of it, why not? Um and I don't know if it will be like a life long quitting or anything like that um as of right now i definitely think that i will be quitting i would like to quit for the next three months and then if that goes well then maybe the next year and that goes well forever who knows i don't want to be too hard on myself but like i am actually gonna make effort to like not drink and honestly the only times i ever really drink was with my girl like we'd just be like hey you want to like go to a bar she lives on top of like three really nice bars so you know we would get some food have like a cocktail or have like a cider or something with it and i think that'll be good to quit for us because we'll save money and honestly a big problem i've had with alcohol is if i drink the night you know, if I drink at night, the next morning, I won't really want to wake up early for my workout. I might, I sometimes even will just like not do the workout altogether because I'm so tired. I don't really get like crazy hungover, but I do feel like tired and like, you know, kind of burnt out. So I do think that will help. Um, so yeah, money, I guess like working out um, health wise, I think that, you know, they, you know, everybody always talks about beer bellies. I think I have a cider belly for sure. Like, I mean, these guys have like a lot of calories in them and I can sit and drink three of them. And, you know, it's just like unnecessary calories. I actually have these last ciders and um, I'm actually not going to drink them. I'm pissed about it, though, because I spent a good amount of money on those ciders. They're not cheap. Um, I think it was like two six packs and each of them were like $15. I mean, it's not a crazy amount of money that I'm losing, but it is some money and I don't know. I was like, okay, I could drink them, but like I would be drinking them alone because my girl already started it. She started yesterday and yesterday I did drink. Um, so I'm like, oh, I could drink them alone, but when am I ever alone? Like I'm really like when I'm alone, I'm either filming or like working out and I can't like be drunk doing that. You know what I mean? Other than right now. So what I do got to drink though, also wait, what I was going to say is with those though, with those ciders I have left, I'm going to just like leave them outside on this trail because it's like the bike trail and there's like a lot of homeless people in there and not like to stereotype them or judge them or anything but i would think that maybe some homeless people would want some cider they're unopened they're cans i think that they'd be like ooh, free alcohol why not so i am gonna leave them out there um but what i do have to drink today though is it an opened um champagne because me and my girl had a little picnic the other day and um I just have like some leftover. So here it is. It is bubbly barefoot. Bubbly, bubbly. Um, and what I want to do is I want to make a uh, mimosa. Look how much is left though. I don't even know if you can see, but there's like maybe an inch left of it. So I'm going to make myself a mimosa. I have like some like frozen orange juice stuff. Let me grab it. So I got this stuff. And you know what's crazy? I, like, literally just learned about this. Like, I've never known that you can get orange juice in a can like this. This is so odd to me, to be honest. I never, ever heard about this as a child. Like, I'm pissed because this is so, like, a cheap way to have orange juice. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to whip this up. Let's, let's, make a, let's make a mimosa. All right, here we go. All right, I put some water into my cup. So I'm just going to grab some of this. I need a spoon. You know, it really sucks because, honestly, when I think about alcohol, I feel like the majority of the reason, like, the main reason why I even drink it is because I like to have my meal with, like, a nice little drink. But I guess I should just drink juice or, you know, non-alcoholic cider or whatever. Like, I think I'll be fine. It really was just, like, more of a, a social thing because, you know, everybody knows if you drink alcohol, you can easily make friends and all that, so... Yeah, that looks good. Mmm, so good. Wow. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>
What the fuck? Well, last drink of alcohol. It honestly really sucks too because I have a trip in like two weeks from now to see my sister in California and she drinks occasionally and like normally when I go to see her, I drink with her. So that one might be a little difficult, but other than that, I'm sure I'll be fine. Tasty. Let me know if any of you guys are, I don't know, quit drinking or sober or whatever. Um, I'm not completely sober. I do smoke weed, but, you know, let me know if you're sober from alcohol. I'm curious how it is to be alcohol-free. But honestly, I would say out of every year of my life, probably last year was the year that I drank the least because I didn't have time to hang out with friends or anything like that. Also, yeah, all my friends drink. Normally when I hang out with my friends, we can make, we be making art or we like do something and activity, but I feel like alcohol is always involved. So yeah, I'm really peculiar, peculiar. <sighs> I almost feel like that champagne was a little old. It tastes weird. And I'm thinking about it now. It definitely has been more than more than a week and a half, probably two weeks now. I don't know if that's okay, but at least there was only a drop left. Well, there you have it. I am a sober bitch now. Um, maybe I'll give you an update in the future on how it's going. I don't know, or maybe I'll never talk about it again. Um, but I do hope that I stick to it because, again, I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not tempted to drink alcohol. It's just, like, it's so normal, like, whenever we go to a restaurant. But also, we're trying to save money. And, well, I'm trying to save money and not, like, go out to eat, take her out to eat so much. So um, we won't really be going out that much. We're going to be eating in. So there's not really any access to alcohol anyways. Uh, but anyways, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Bye.